everyone, this is Mike Check 95 and as the intro stated, yes, we are going into the Resident Evil series, and, uh, we're back. <laughs> we have all survived COVID. Yep, yeah, long story short, we all got hit by COVID, uh, some of us more than others, <laughs> but, uh, we're all alive, we're all okay, and whatnot. Before we get into the numbers and everything, and our thoughts on the, on the film, like I said in the intro for the for the for this video, I want to pretty much forget the fact that the games exist when it comes to these reviews, and I would like to have, like, discussion as we go on in the series, because I personally want to figure out where in the series did they, like, screw up, because they did screw up, like, two or three times in this series, like, really bad, apparently. So... Starting off with the first one, we have Resident Evil, which came out in 2002. Krieger Margin here has the numbers. So the budget for this movie was $33 million, and they made uh, $102 million. So that, that's grossing. Oh my god. 33, 33, 33 mi Okay, never mind. $33 remind. million dollars to make it, and they only made $102 million. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to save that number in my head, but you keep going. So, what were the so, ratings? So, oh shit. Um. I mean, I can pull it Say up. Say a random fact. I will pull it up when we do that. This I, movie was very interesting. It. it wasn't what I thought it was going to be. I've never seen... So uh, we can just go through... I have never seen any of the rest I've of been, people, and I've never know. seen or played any of the games. See, this... So this I, I'm your fresh... This is why off I... Off the cuff. I've played them on and off. Um, my first game was on the Nintendo Wii, uh, on the incredible, <laughs> incredible quantities. My words can't work right. So I have some experience with the games and, and none of the movies, um, but I'm always extremely confused by what Resident Evil is. Yes. Um, I have very little experience with the games. We have some footage from one of the games that we have played, but it hasn't been edited yet. Um, when it comes to the series, I'm very spotty. I've seen either half of a movie, none of the movie, or I've seen the entirety of the movie at a younger age. This film is probably the most recent one I've seen because I saw it last year for like the first time in like a long time. Just to let you guys know the numbers, um, the critics put this movie at a 3.6 and the audience puts it at a 6.7. So that's on the that's on a higher end of the ratings, though, right? Yeah, uh, yeah. Well, I can see the next uh, under is Underworld. This thing, is that right in the evil? No, Underworld's completely different. Okay. <laughs> Underworld's vampires, bro. Is that the same person? Is no, that that's Kate Beckinsale. Kate Beckinsale's an Underworld. Mia Djokovic is Resident okay. Evil. Okay, anyway, so review time. For me, I was very tired, and I watched the beginning of this film and the end of the film. So I cannot tell you about the meat and potatoes of the film, but I can tell you about okay. the introduction, uh, some of the dialogue. I saw them kill off a majority of the characters that I could see. I thought this had a really good cast. Um, it had a lot of people that were from other things later on that were good. Good actors. I don't know if they really developed yet as actors. Um, some of the dialogue was kind of iffy. The music was really cringe. Um, Very had, early Now, 2000s. this is early 2000s. They Very. had a lot of early 2000s cringe that just didn't make sense. Um, some of the dialogue on the computer screen, I looked at one specifically that we talked about, where it zoomed in on somebody that was choking to death on gas and it showed their life force percentage. Yeah, <laughs> they tried to make it very, like, techy and everything. It felt like it was a video game, which might work for it. A video game, um, and it was, like, for health bar going down. Yeah. The, the, the CGI was awful. <laughs> 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 How did this movie have a budget of $33 million when the CGI That's wasn't there? What the fuck?! fuck? CGI on the... They, they CGI'd sparks on the bottom of the train. Awfully. I they could just put the fucking sparks at the bottom I, of the train. Some of the death things I really didn't like. Uh, whenever the whenever the lasers went to the pyramid and killed off Mr. Queen, the animation of that was awful. Like, uh, I get it that it instantly ca cauterizes the wound, but it looked like pus or something was starting to come out a little bit and leak a little bit, and then, and then that was it. I, uh, like, they uh, could have done so much better with that. Okay, I, was it I'm not trying to... I'm not trying to defend the movie, but I'm just going to say that when it came to that particular scene, I've seen it, but I can see why you think it's really bad. Because it is bad, but I've seen but I, I've seen what do you more. Mean by you, so well, I, I, I've got my words twisted. I've seen worse than that is what I actually meant. Yes. I've, Freddy it's, versus Jason. I'm no. anyways, um. <laughs> We're going to forget about Jason for a while. I got beat in the kitchen for it. I really did not like 
and this is early 2000s, and they objectified a lot. It felt like she was trying; they were trying to make her eye, eye candy by wearing the least amount of clothes possible. Um, beginning of the film, end of the film, I, I just like... I get that that was the time period, and we live in a different age today, but it just felt really sleazy, where they're just like, hey, look at this chick, she's hot. Didn't you she's say that, badass. like, 2002, 2007 was, like, a weird yes. time period, Yes, too? it was its own era. There's things that they've done back then, which this is a different discussion, but there's things that happened back then that you cannot do now. Skippy paper dresses. Uh, like like the, like the hour and a half like, discussion you guys had before I hit record. Tropic Thunder. Um, <laughs> 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 Moving on from that. That uh, I really hated the alien things, monsters, whatever they are. Um, you're talking um, about the the red the red guy. All of it. The, all the, of it. The the, the, tra- the weird brain thing that would like mutate when they hit people. That was I thought that was J- again Jason <laughs> from they, Jason Goes to Hell. They had a half puppet, half CGI monster. Mike, lobby it was an expert on some horror movies. What year did Alien One? Uh, the first Alien film, 1979. Okay, 1979. That alien looked ten times better than those. That's because that's, um... Real. It was, it was, it was, it was, a, guy, it was a guy terrible. It was a guy in an actual yeah. suit. Yeah, Even the real one. The real one looked... They had a real puppet in there. It looked absolutely terrible. The dogs yeah. looked pretty good. Like, they must have the the they, they they spent a good amount of their, the of their money... On the cast. On cast, because they had a solid cast. And really, they killed off a lot of people that were really good. They didn't really need to spend that extra money on better people. They could have got some. If yeah. I remember right, the CGI, the CGI does improve a little bit in the second one, but we'll discuss that. See, in the second I expect film. CGI to improve. I I expect the acting to improve, and I expect action to improve a little bit. Because yeah. this is 2002, depending on how long it takes between the different movies. Um, but overall, for me, um, I didn't enjoy this film. Um, Do you have any comments on how like the story like progressed and how it was like? It was a setup together? film. Um, it, it, I have the same opinion on it as if as you do uh, as the Ultron film. Makes I felt sense. like it was not a good setup. Film. I may that makes sense. Yeah. Very flat. I can I yeah. can understand that. Like I feel like they could have done more. Uh, the way they kind of told the story in the beginning was a little confusing. Like we had to ask you on what's going on because you've seen this before. Um, but we're just like, wait, what? When when are they doing this? What's happening? Like, they didn't explain it well. The thing that movies are <coughs> down is whenever they're having an important conversation, they make it really clear that, hey, this is important. You should listen to this. Back then, it just looks like they're having a transfer conversation, so you just lean over and go like, hey, what about that? It's like, this doesn't seem important at all. And then you're just like, wait, wait, what the fuck happened? That's a whispering. Uh, yeah, yeah, the audio in the early 2000s was awful and it really, it sucks because the audio that they're talking sounds really slow, but then the actual uh, audio of the special effects and gunfire is loud. And the, the music, the tone, and the music, in the music. So like that was a really bad effect in movies back then. So um, I don't blame them for that. I'm not going to knock off for that. Some of the logic didn't make sense, which I'm sure you guys will touch on too, but my, my biggest pet peeve about it is whenever Number one, they all have ACOGs on SMGs, which don't make any fucking sense. <laughs> and they're all shooting at close quarters. And I'm, I'll tell you what, throughout that entire movie that I was awake for, I looked, and not a single one looked in that goddamn ACOG scope. I'm so, no, I'm, I'm so glad you had knowledge about guns, because I was even like, what the hell are they holding? They were bullshit. <laughs> and then the Stupid. fire that was Stupid. happening out of the guns. Let me tell you, if you have an, a, a fucking SMG, and you're shooting at somebody across the room, they, I don't care if you shoot an entire fucking clip into them. They're not going to fly upwards, backwards over a fucking yeah, pile of shit. And then back. But, like, like, that, it doesn't matter if they're They couldn't even dead. jump like that. Yeah. Like, like, even if you got hit, the, the thing that would be comparable is if you got hit with, like, a 50 cal, fully automatic, <laughs> you might do that, but your entire body is going to be destroyed. <laughs> yeah, You're just... Dude. Like, it's going to be nothing. Yeah, parts of you are going to fly back. One 50 cal will leave a fucking hole in your chest. A fully automatic uh, one, your that. body's gone. But yeah. but they're still, you know, as long as they don't destroy the head, then they're fine. But they, they can't walk because their entire torso is nothing but minced meat now. The guns, I like movies where the guns make sense and they're cool. But, and, and like, when you look at actors going through movies, as yeah. they clear the rooms, you look for that. You look for you look for it look like they actually are trained professional. Like when like they came, uh, the quality. Yeah, they look like they know like what they're talking about. Or yeah. um, uh, Witcher, 
with yeah. the sword play. Like he looks like he knows how to use a sword, and he's not just not like, like not like Monty Python. Woo, 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 woo. I guess this is how it works. Or yeah, wave it not, around in front of me. He's not Thanos with his <laughs> stupid blade that doesn't make yeah. any sense. Anyways, back to it. Um, my review for this movie, even though I've I missed the meat and potatoes, but I, I think I watched the part that I enjoyed. Um. The fact that Due to the fact the that movie. I did not like the movie, it's not over a five. I'm going to give it a couple extra points because it is an early 2000s film, and that's just how film was. So I'm going to give it a 4.64321. Orphan Joker here, and you know what time it is. It's time for doo -doo 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 -doo. science time with Josh. But this movie had better science than some of the other movies. Interesting. Uh, we'll just go to the physics. Krieger already mentioned it, that the idea that, you know, you can't... you If you shoot somebody, okay, if in the movie you, you establish that when you shoot somebody they fly back and up, then five seconds later in the film when you shoot somebody else who's closer with that same gun, they should also fly back instead of just... Or just fall down. And it's like, can we be consistent, please? Okay, if you're going to rewrite physics, rewrite physics correctly. Can I make an interjection real quick? Yes. I feel like the more of the science talk will come into play when we start looking at the other films as we combine it with the other, uh, are, are this you, one. Are you trying to say that they ignore science in the beginning and later they actually get their head out of their ass? <clears throat> I, I mean, like, this, this, this was... Movie. Are this they movie? going to explain the life force in the later movies? I mean, this this is yeah. an introduction film. They're pretty much like, oh, this is what happened at start. I kind of feel like they're going to try to explain the science as the films go on, but my main concern is that they're going to fuck it up. I feel like twice. they tried to explain the science in this film, because when he started to mutate, they, they explained yeah. that, the, oh, he's this thing, and he's going to do this when that's this really, happens. Besides the T-virus and the liquor, that's the name of the creature, it's called the liquor, those are the only two things science they really explained. Was Who the like, fuck thought of that name? The um, liquor? Whoever, whoever started Resident Evil as a video game. I call it Carnage, so... I know that they explained it. <coughs> uh, a couple of things in the movie I want to touch on what uh, <coughs> cohorts just said, but... Saying, oh, well, he's going to eat DNA now, DNA now, so now he's going to mutate. Just because they say that doesn't mean it makes science sense. Cool. You don't just eat something and immediately mutate, especially... And this is where I'm going from, the, the idea of rewriting physics. Well, they didn't rewrite science. They said, they said, oh, we have zombies, but these zombies make normal sense. The idea that they, they, they went very deep into the science. They said, oh, when you die, you still have, your, your, your brain still has energy, has electricity in it for a month. Your, your body still has oxygen. Your hair and fingernails grow. One of, those are both myths. Your hair and fingernails look like they grow. It's just the skin and flesh in your body sinking because you don't see all the hair. You don't see all the, the fingernail links. When you die, you're, you actually see more fingernail. It's the same way. Our hands look the size they do. When you die, your hands, your fingers look like they're growing. It's because the skin flaps are shrinking because the, the bone connective is actually down here, not up here. It's becoming so, more frail, pretty much. Yes. It, they're just showing more of what you can't see because flesh is in the way. Yeah. So, but they tried to make it very sciencey. Oh, we're not like Reese is vamping them. We're not like zombieing and putting their soul back in them. They walk forever intelligently. No, they said it's 100% like, like giving them an adrenaline shot and they last for another like six days kind of thing. And I was like, okay, so they're going that route. They're going like solid science, and then they just like out of left field. Yeah, this thing eats DNA and instantly mutates, even though it's like 100% against <coughs> the science we did at the beginning, which is like. We're not doing anything special. We're just like kind of reanimating people. They for did a couple say hours. they did say that the liquor was like a first generation T virus test that like went unstable. So well, that could also go with like blood types This idea and stuff. that this idea, they, they they went very historical to science. They tried to make the technology seem intelligent. Like even though it's stuff we don't have like holograms, is they explain stuff in a very down to earth what we know science to be, like. Oh, it's a hologram. Oh, the, it's, this thing's been programmed this way. And I was like, oh, well, that makes sense technologically. That makes sense scientifically. Creepy. And then Creepy. out of nowhere, out of nowhere, they're just like, oh, and there's this giant alien thing that like doesn't make sense to any of the science we know today. It just, it just is, and it's growth from this virus that mutates with this thing. And it's like, so it, you drop this thing that's supposed to reanimate this already intelligent thing into this roaming monster, but if you put this same virus, which if it's a fundamental virus, in with random tissue and all of a sudden grows this magical form 
and then when it eats DNA, it instantly mutates. It's like, bro, that's like demon stuff. That's not science. At that point, you went into the beyond sci-fi make em up stuff. And so that really bothered me in this movie. It also doesn't make sense. It doesn't make any sense. The AI. Okay, so in the building itself, yeah. the AI, why would you have a mechanical AI operate like that on check where it's just like, oh, this happened, so now we need to kill all these people? And why would you keep that monster and all their experiments all in the same building? Mm-hmm. Like, that doesn't. You need to separate those assets. Evil corporation. Mm-hmm. Also, that you can't just throw away evil corporation. Well, also, you know what? That, that is, is not, literally like, like I'm not. I'm not, not trying to defend. That's literally their excuse and okay, their reason. That, that evil is not corporation. evil corporation. <laughs> that, is <literally laughs> that is bad management. I know, but that yeah, is that okay. is their reason. You, you literally. literally have. Hey, this there's this thing in the lab that can fucking kill everything. Hey, see this thing? If that that gets close to it, literally anything else, we can <laughs> end humanity. Like, what's no. what's funny it is does that does not make sense. Sorry, you can't you, just. Be evil. Are okay, so why are they evil? Yes. Okay, you're okay. still science. Why okay. are one, they evil? One quick thing. One of the funny things about it. the AI, it's like, this is a super highly advanced AI. It's very intelligent. It's like, okay. It, it, it's able to do tons of things all by itself. It's like, okay. <laughs> and so, so I did this like 100% <laughs> perfect thing. And it, it saved everybody by locking this thing in and, and protecting everyone. Okay. Um, well, it's killing people. Okay, no, but regardless of that, this idea of quarantining, it's like, okay. Well, obviously it did a terrible job, what I mean, and not what it did, because it, it wasn't like, oh, I did this, and it's report, hey, 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 people who made me, this is why I did this, so please don't send people down here to break the quarantine. It was like, I'm going to do this, and then not tell anybody, so they have to send a special team down to find out what the fuck happens, instead of actually just sending an electronic report to the people and say, hey, by the way, I'm the AI, and somebody broke in and busted stuff that's, up, so please that's don't the come sad down part. here. And That's the sad part. <laughs> the AI umbrella and that spec op it was team. Just so stupid. They all all of them work for umbrella. That's the sad part. Even the spec op see, team were for umbrella. See, bro, that special team sucked as well. Exactly. Like they, like, so they all bad. died and the only, and and the person that out survived them was some lady with amnesia that doesn't even know who the fuck she is. Yeah. And and the team everything they went down to do, all it did was compromise they were like, We're gonna go down and find out what happens. Instead they go down and Ruin everything. <laughs> yeah. Go down and be red shirts and cannon fodder, and, 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 do, and not only do, do a terrible job, but instead of finding out what happens, we're gonna not tell anybody. Nobody's gonna learn anything. We're just gonna lose whatever happened down here. Another science thing that we talked about in the movie is uh, the idea of virus and antivirus in the same way of poison and antidote. Mm, yeah, 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 yeah. Poisons work and viruses work quickly. Well, some viruses take a long time, but if you have a virus that works quickly, it you can't have an antidote that works quickly. If you have a virus that works slowly, the antidote can work can work quick. But if the virus works quickly, the antidote is going to take a very long time because it's going to have to fight that very quick virus. In the same way, if you have a poison that kills somebody quickly, the antidote is going to take a long time. Question. Did yes. they actually explain how long it takes a person to turn into a zombie in the movie? They do not. All they say is that they're when they're dead, they get... When they're dead or the when they bit, they're over. pretty much... Like going going to turn, but it, I thought they were going to go into the idea that when you're dead and you have no more mental control, but it seems like at some point the virus is able to take over. Like the virus itself kills you quickly. But in World War Z, it's like they they reanimate very quickly, and once somebody bites you, they turn quickly, and it stays consistent throughout the movie. Well, in this, it was like oh, they have to be dead, and it kind of just like zombifies them for a little bit of time, and they just go back to their original function and so that was what was made was made some of it confusing because it was like the people didn't necessarily respond that way it's like well they want hunger but not all of them are biting people but they're not really that hungry and then why would it immediately make them attack humans that like that fundamental was very weird if it takes them down to their base route their base route wouldn't be attack people and bite them and then to turn around and be like okay and then there's this thing it's a monster that doesn't that defies all of those rules. Yeah. And it just made no sense. And it's like, it it not only is fast, which is the opposite of the other ones, which is like, oh, they're slow, there's very little brain matter. It's like, it's fast. It has a giant brain. It, it knows what it wants to do. It's smart. It can learn. And it's like, well, that's the total opposite of these zombies that you made. So if the T-virus makes intelligent people stupid, then how would it make unintelligent flesh intelligent? That's about it on the science. Everything else was... The acting was really normal, but the dialogue, and I know we explained that the dialogue was just the way it was, 
but there were actual spots where they paused the music, they slowed everything way down, they stayed, I don't just mean like the audio was off, I mean like they actually like paused, and they would like turn each other and like actually whisper like, I think I did this. It's like a really weird, awkward pause. The prime example of that is when um, <clears throat> the cop dude or whatever, I, I want to call him Matt, so we'll call him Matt for the video. When Matt and uh, Alice uh, are talking about his sister, about getting in with all the intel and whatnot, that's a perfect example of that because they're both in that room by themselves, pretty much, and like they're talking like this, really, really quiet. And I know and it's not there's a sneaky. zombie outside the window, <laughs> yeah. but it's like... Oh, there's no man. reason for them to be doing it. Uh, uh, Final thoughts on rating? Rating? Um... His brain know. just it shut was, down. <laughs> it was very weird movie because I was expecting it to this series to be more like demons and less like zombies. Then when it finds zombies, the way they approach the zombies is just really weird. So if the rest of the it's series so has nothing weird. to do with zombies and everything to do with the weird alien demon things, I'm gonna be sad because that means the first movie did not do a very good job of setting you up for the series. It's just the fact that, like, I mean, like, we're trying to look at this without actually bringing in the knowledge from the games, or we're looking at it at, like, an outside perspective, as, a, perspective. As, as, as if, like, like a, a Josh perspective. Yeah, or a don't have perspective. Just like, a different perspective. You, they should tell an error yeah. in this story they should be good. Yeah. That, that you can understand. I you just shouldn't have to play games or read novels. You should be able to sit down in this first film and go like, okay, well, this is what this universe is about, mm -hmm. and I felt like they did a very bad job. Yeah, yeah. This is what I wanted to do. Because it ends with this mutation yeah. and new experiments, but it starts with zombies and, like, this really weird lab break scene. <laughs> just... Also, the idea that this thing is airborne and plant-born and waterborne and people-born and blood-born. It's like, when it wants to, it's like, that's not how viruses work. They don't just do what they want. It's like, what if it's a super virus? Like, viruses aren't intelligent like that because they're tiny. Viruses can mutate, um, and uh, sometimes aggressively, but like not to, to that rate. And maybe it's a parasitic thing; it's, it's adapting, but like that's highly unlikely. Mm -hmm. But it's plausible. It's just it, it ventures from science to sci-fi at that point. Yeah. So it's just that's like worst case scenario. Like we probably wouldn't see that for millions of years, yes. on a likelihood in a natural environment. If you're going to do sci-fi, start with sci-fi. Don't try to go super science and make it super critical and follow the logic of science and then go straight out of left field. Because for science people like me, it's just like, dude, just start from a new. It's hard for us to think, oh, this is the base ground. And then it'd be like, just kidding, rocket ship. And like, no, start with the rocket ship. Otherwise, you're going to hurt our brains and we're going to be mad at you for the rest of the series. For that, I think I'm going to give it, it's not that it was bad, it's just there was too much pinballing around with my brain. And so I'm going to give it a four. There's other things that have been given a four because it's terrible or it's disgusting or it hurts my brain. This didn't really hurt my brain, but it's just, it, I was expecting more. Okay, so like I said before, this is my second time viewing this movie based off my memory from start to finish and more recent. Um, I will go, I'm going to say right now that my biggest problem, my biggest problem with this film is the fact that they had a budget of $33 million, and the CGI looks terrible. Like, Godzilla 1998 status terrible. And it just... Oh, man. The liquor looks like a piece of paper being dragged across the wall. That's what it looks like. Like, a really bad drawing just dragged across the wall. That's what it looks like. And it just... This... The CGI is my biggest, biggest, biggest problem, and it pisses me off about how how bad it is. I can't knock on it too much because of the fact that it's in 2002. That's why I'm not really knocking on the whole, like, the, the sound, the dialogue, the acting, uh, some of the choices for, like, the weaponry and everything because it's set in the future and whatnot, and it's all that. I'm not really knocking all that, all that stuff because... There's a lot of sci-fi films around that time period that do a lot of weird shit like that. So, I'm not really knocking on that. It's just the CGI, I feel like, was absolutely horrible. A lot of the points that you guys brought up, I do agree with. Like, the guns don't make sense. Ooh, the science don't really make sense. One more science thing. Oh, my God. Okay. 
happens every it's, review. If the way the science works, you say, well, there was a different virus for the liquor, the new zombie thing, and it makes sense, that'd be okay. But you can't have slow humans and then turn around and have fast dogs. It's hard to really explain the T-virus because we barely know anything about it right now. My only knowledgeable thing I can probably pull out of my brain, which probably still doesn't really make sense for it, is just how the 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 certain specimen or the certain blood type would react to it. That's my only way of finding a, a reason there's, there's that they don't. That's movie that, that, set, that suggests that. Yeah, but like to, to try to pull something out of my brain and try to make it make sense for me better without them telling me that's what it is, that's the only thing I can think of. But where can you pull that from just watching this movie? Just from me trying to think what's what's a reason that I could think would make sense without them telling me that because they probably because I know they're probably going to explain it in, in the next few films. Yeah, but that they doesn't will. even that still doesn't even make that much sense. Yeah, and I know it's that makes for, as much sense as the antivirus bullshit. It might work. It might not. Oh, I'm uh, dead and right now, I'm dead. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, another no, thing that it's convenient to plot. An, another thing that like you guys had a lot of struggle with, which I that's another thing I had to really explain was. The time span of the film, like the fact that um, the opening, like br break it, break in, break out, science thing to Alice waking up, that was about five hours. That took a little bit for me to like kind of explain to you guys that it was. That's a five-hour time span between that, the Red Queen AI doing her shit, the Spec team, and them getting into the lab. That was about five hours. They did and then. That in the movie. They did. They did in dialogue. They did. We, had a we were talking. We were so. Yeah. And the fact that with the spec team and Alice and them going through the, all the events that happened in the film to the point to where Alice and Matt got out of there before the the the, the lab coats grabbed Matt, that was about three. That was close to three hours in there. So this is like a hour and a half film that explains and story events that have happened about eight hours long. And for me, I feel like that, again, that's more like runtime stuff because you're cramming so much stuff into an hour and a half for like eight hours worth of like story there. And it's, just, it's, it's, it's a lot to try to like grab and retain in your brain. But I'm going to say, my problems aside, I don't exactly hate this movie, but I don't exactly, I don't exactly want to say that I think it's a good movie. See, I it's not it. a good movie, but I don't hate it. I, I, I still have stupid fun watching it here and there in some bits because it's like, oh, man, it's it's something different. It's something new. I've only seen the film twice. It's not like the, the same it wasn't ten terrible. films that I've seen 10,000 times. It's different. Mm -hmm. It's different from anything else that I've actually ever ever seen. They did, wait, they did a lot of typical of-the-time movie tropes like people fly back from bullets, the science doesn't make sense, and that was very common. Back in that time, and nobody cared yeah. about the science. Nobody cared. They just wanted, they wanted their video games. Say science life. stuff, and then, and then, and then more, we'll have an excuse to do things. Hacker man. <laughs> science. All in all, to kind of summarize it, just I, it's not a good movie, but it's not a bad movie. I still have stupid fun watching it from time to time. It's worth watching. It's, just it's not, not your favorite. Would I recommend it to people to watch? It really depends on your taste. Like, these two guys, would you guys ever watch it again? No. No. I would still watch the series to find out what happens. Yeah. If the series was good, yeah. then I would skip this movie and then watch the, <laughs> the good ones. If you want to watch this movie, start where the, this one ended. Watch the last five minutes. And then just don't even... You're not gonna learn anything in the beginning. Again, we're not trying to knock on the Resident Evil series in its entirety. We're just looking at these films as a movie. I also feel like this movie wasn't that important. Yeah, that's the. It just didn't feel important. Yeah, I think that was my main problem. It's too. like the it end was, of the movie it was just felt like there. it was the beginning of what the movie should have been when yeah. she wakes up in a city like that. I know you guys are gonna think that I'm rating this really high, but at the same time, over five. That's just right. I've seen a lot more bad movies than this one. Where my brain wants to set it at, my rating is it's not going any higher than this. It is deadlock at a five.
gonna close this video out. Are there any final thoughts you guys want to add before we go into the outro of this video? Um, bad. My first taste of this series. I'm so sad. Yeah. Because it's bad. If it didn't have the last five minutes, I would have like if I was to have watched this movie, not expecting to watch the whole series, like not knowing the series is coming, and I watched this movie, I would have said. I think I'm done. I got a feeling as we go on that the three of us or one of us or two of us, they're going to get really pissed off or really upset and are like, I'm done. I'm just going to shut down. I want to keep like the discussions we had today in this review. Like I want to keep that going for the rest of the series. And that's like the importance of this is that I'm wanting to literally nitpick and figure out where did they fuck up? Why did they fuck up? And why did they do it? <laughs> But the next time you shall see us for this review series, we'll be reviewing Resident Evil Apocalypse. I kind of have a, a soft spot for that one. It's not because of the movie, because I only remember bits of it. It's because it introduced me to a, a band that I liked because it was on the soundtrack, but that's just a childhood story I'll explain another time. This is Mike Check 95 along with my two cohorts here. Krieger Margin 10. <laughs> and uh, Orphan But Has Parents. And we Did the ten disturb you, Michael? <laughs> what about the parent? And, and we're going to be signing out for now. And wait, wait, what? In 1935, there was once a beach in Florida, and two children went to the beach, and they went into the water. And do you know what happened, Michael? What? Jaws. They got wet. We'll see you next time. <laughs>